Three Smiles, episode 129. Welcome back to our free to play series we like to call Three Smiles. We got a new Warrior Circles pack, it looks like. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll get into the pack breakdowns in a moment. In a moment. All right, we got some announcements, guys. If you guys didn't check out my recent video, there's a get one legendary, get another one for free off of your ancient shards. And I did say in that video that I would consider going for this event because I feel like I'm close to Mercy, but I looked back and checked how many ancient shards I was into Mercy. Sorry about that. And it turns out that I'm actually very far from hitting the Mercy. Yeah, I think I'm like 13 ancient shards in. So I'm going to be about, yeah, even with all this, I'm not going to be anywhere close. I don't think I'll be going for this uh, guaranteed event because I feel like I'm just going to screw myself if I do that, right? It's a bait, guys. If you're not close and you don't have enough to get to that mercy, then it's most likely a bait. But for me, on my main account, I will go for it. On this free-to-play account, I think I'll just wait for the 2x event because I'm not, I'm not really near the mercy anyway. All right, let's see. Let's collect all our rewards real quick. We got a ton of stuff to collect here, guys. All right, where's the sacred shards at? Or voice shards, we'll take it. Nice, very nice. Okay, that's, it could be usable, I guess. And we already collected my nightmare earlier. Okay, we got some other ones here. Okay, some more emerge shards actually. Okay, this is most likely gonna be sell on most of them. Six stars. Speed, HP, percentage, resistance. I guess I'll keep that one. Okay, no speed here. It's not a six star. Don't want that. Wow. Stats wise, it's pretty solid. It's not a six star though. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna use this even though the stats are pretty decent. And if I can roll a multiple into here, especially if it's high rolls, but I guess we'll see. Okay, that has speed. That could triple. That could be uh, potentially 20, right? Yeah. And this one here, it's not, yeah, it's not a six star either, so I'll sell that one too. And then Ancient Shard. Okay. There's not really much to look forward to as far as the Bazaar goes, because I was always buying the, the Drexstar, right? But now, I mean, I guess I could buy this too for sure. We, we need to hurry up and get to this uh, unlocking his. Yeah, this star here. I need to get this. But I need to level up some more, right? Oh, I'm not even here yet? Okay, I need to get the silver, guys, instantly. This needs to be bought has to be bought every single day I can. So maybe that is something I can focus on a little bit more as far as the uh, progression, right? We need to hurry up and get this over. I think we've been stuck at this for too long. Way too long. Okay, Doom Tower we have to do as well. And what else is there to collect? Hmm. Guys, Force Pass, I've been pretty good. I've been doing all of it. Okay, I missed out on the first day because I was really busy that day. I totally forgot about this account and my main account. So I, I completely missed out on the first day. But from what I understand, you can miss out on a few days and still get this done, right? So I'm going to try to make sure I get this done. I am being I am focusing on this, actually, because I, I want to get this avatar. That'd be cool. And of course, like the uh, set pieces for Defiant. Okay. So as far as new stuff that are coming out, so we talked about the, uh, what was it the guaranteed? Oh, nice, very nice. We talked about the guaranteed sacred or legendary coming out from ancient shards, right? We just had a two x sacred summons. No, it was a two x voice summons. So this upcoming week is going to be a ten x summons, and a fusion should be coming out pretty soon again, right? So let's head over to the head shop and see what's going on here. Okay, we got a uh, void. Or we got Soulstone Twin Offers. This is not a great deal, honestly. I mean, this is something late to end game players should be looking at or consider if they're a spender, that is. But this pack here is not good value. I already broke it down in my, my channel earlier. Silver packs are always garbage, guys, okay? Stay away from silver packs. They're always completely garbage. Just use that towards energy and farm spider instead. Much better value. And yeah, we always talk about monthly pack. It's always solid. Great deal pack. This is about average. If you're looking for books then this would be it's about average about average 
Okay, this one you ideally buy one get one free. That's the one you look for. Okay, privilege pack. This is the one that came out today. I did break this down, the bigger version, and this pack is it's pretty bad. It's pretty garbage if I'm being honest. It's not it's not a good deal. Like there's no reason for you to need XP bonus. Like I mean, I'm playing on a free to play account and I've never had a I never had a moment where I needed to buy this ever. I guess, right? Like if I need XP bonus, I kind of I try to be efficient and save my like okay, if you head over to here, your quest, you get one every week, right? Like you don't have to time this with anything. It just it just happens because once you collect all this, you'll get it, right? But the one you can actually time is this, and you also get XP bonuses along the way from doing tur like tournaments, events, you know, stuff like that. So or even the Doom Tower, right? So that's something you can try to time with, like using it towards your advantage for champ training, if it's part of like a fusion or a fragment event or something like that. Then you could try to time it in that aspect, but. I've never needed to ever buy the XP bonus. So even from like the, the gem shop right here for gems. So for someone to go out of their way and get the uh, these pack offers because and try to value the XP bonus towards the pack, it's not that great. But this in general, it's not a good offer. There is a word circles pack here. Okay, now this one is a little more interesting. It's on the cheaper side. Normally we see word circles pack for $10 is for $5. And this right here, 10 Energy refills, if you're level 60 or higher, plus this. So 1800 energy divided by, actually we can't do that. 1800 energy divided by, okay, let's say we're not even counting the tag arena, the little silver that's there and the clan boss key, right? Divided by the $5, it's gonna be 360 energy per dollar ratio. Now that that is a really, really good deal. But there are, there are $10 deals for rear circles pack that offer more energy, right? At a higher cost, but if you're gonna go out once to use the Warrior Circles pack, you're not gonna see it again for a long time. So I would say probably wait for the bigger energy version. Unless you're on like a $5 budget, then I guess it's something. Oh, by the way guys, there is a new promo code available too. And the promo code is... Replay. I don't know where it originated from, but bless you whoever you are, okay? So Replay is the promo code here. So we get energy. Again, XP bonus, right guys? There's no reason to buy XP bonuses when you can get it for free, right? So there you go. Three day XP bonus, silver, multi battles, and free energy here as well. So I'm definitely gonna be saving this towards, I guess like some sort of events that comes up soon. Probably another fusion event, right? We should be getting another fusion event pretty soon. So go ahead and collect that one. <laughs> All right, so what do we need to work on here? We have been I think I finished the masteries on one of my champions recently, and that was Uko. Yes, we finished his masteries, and I just need to. I don't. Do I want to book him? I do. I do want to book him. Okay, I see. So for this at least, right? For Rena, I guess this would be really good. For PVE though, do I have to book this? I don't think I have to book it. I guess that would be nice too. Yeah, I guess that would be nice. Four turn cooldown, that would be pretty nice. So you don't have to book it, but of course every champion that gets booked, it'll be a lot easier to use, right? A lot more beneficial to your team. Yeah, I think I will book them eventually, probably during CVC. Okay, so I do have a decent amount saved up here, so I could use it towards that. I'm pretty like stingy when it comes to using my books. I try to, I try to conserve them as much as I can. As you can see here, I still haven't booked out him. Even though I have his mastery completed, I haven't even touched my Arbiter. Like, I'm very, very stingy when it comes to booking champions. Because, like, unless I for sure really, really want it on the champion or need it on the champion, I probably won't book it. Because for now, I don't really need the books on these guys. Like, PvP, you don't need this. I mean, PvP... I mean, in general, you don't really need to book a Kaimar. It really depends where you're trying to take them and use them, but... Uh, I did book out the most expensive... Or, the most important thing was this. The rest I didn't really care about, so I stopped. Yeah, as you can see, I'm really, really, really picky and stingy with my books. Okay, so the next thing I'm focusing on now is going to be getting the mastery stuff for Morrigan, because Morrigan is going to help me so much with undead factions. Even though I do have someone else that can do turn meter manipulation, which was the uh, Nethril.
I actually recently completed another faction and I still didn't put out the video for it, but I'll get it to you guys soon. Yeah, it was for the uh, the Shadowkin, I believe. But we got that one done. And I think we're about 200 left as far as uh, to get the Lydia. I'm not like too concerned or rushed about getting it done because the Sylvan faction just came out. Because I still think we're a long ways away from getting it done or getting it out. Because when we got the Shadowkin, like when we got that introduced, it was about nine months after when they brought out the Faction Wars. So I, if it's that same trajectory, that same pace, then I think I have plenty of time to get it all done. The only one I'm concerned about right now, there's like two factions I'm really concerned about because I don't have too many champions there. And I don't remember which one it is. Let's take a look. I think Orcs might have been one of them. Okay, actually this is not so bad. I just need to level up these champions a bit. Yeah, get those leveled, put some gear on them. Maybe it was Ogren Tribe. Mm, you know what? This is kind of doable too. Yeah, I think I have enough here too. Definitely. Especially if I could level him up. Well, Sea Shulk actually does some damage too. But I, I really like Bellower with like the kit that he provides. Like a lot of CC capabilities. So maybe the Bellower. I think the one that was really troubling me was... No, not Skinwalkers. That one that was gonna be easier with especially with the Uko and the Cleo I have now. Yeah, I do have to finish the, the Cleo as well as far as masteries. I think the one that was giving me a lot of trouble was. Hmm. I guess there's, there's not too many, because I just need to level the champions. Maybe Night Revenant? Yeah, maybe this is it. This might be the hardest one for me. Probably these two. Yeah. But other than that, I think the rest of them I can. Yeah, I can work towards eventually. It's like the silver is the biggest issue. Because I'm always like... I, I need to save 10 million silver per artifact enhancement event, basically, right? That's like the average of how much I would need. But we'll get there eventually, right? I don't know if I want to go for the 2S Ancients, though. Maybe I could save towards a... No, we just had a guarantee summons from Ancients, right? Yeah, but that was that was for the Epic, actually. Or the Sylvan Champion. We'll probably get it. We'll probably get one next week. I'm just surprised we haven't gotten a Sacred event, guys. Like, I'm actually saving on my Sacred Shards event for a guarantee Sacreds, and we still haven't got one yet. Like, based off of the uh, the timeline and seeing like all the other events that happened, we should have gotten a Sacred event by now. Where you either summon 12 or 15 sacreds to get a guaranteed legendary. I don't know. Eventually, I guess. Like, I'm not really rushed to summon my sacreds at all, so I'll just save it towards that, I guess. Like that and the summon rushes for the fusion events. I'm kind of hoping for another man eater soon though because I want to take my cardio out of my clan boss lineup. Like he's in my he's in my best savage gear guys. Like I kind of have to have him there like that because that's the only way I can 2 key ultra nightmare. If I take him out of savage, I'm going to be 3 king ultra nightmare, which is a little bit of a problem, especially if it's bad affinity. So, just one more man eater so I can easily build like another another unkillable team. Like, I do have two Demethas. I think I have another Man Eater, actually. Or maybe I don't. I mean, I guess I could use two Demethas. I guess I could. Hmm. But then that's also going to require a lot of silver, because I, I got to re-gear and level up some other stuff too, right? Or just swap around. Silver is the biggest issue, guys. That is always the issue. One of these days I have to do a gear cleansing though, because I, I have so much gear actually. Now that I think about it, maybe I do have a lot of silver then. I'm pretty stacked on accessories. I'm pretty stacked on gear. Hmm, maybe that is the next video idea. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, so that is something I'm going to be working on today. I guess that's that's what my energy is going to be going towards until there's a new fusion event or something. But as far as uh, let's see, yeah, let's get these out of the way real quick. 
So I always do this to my single star champions because I don't really care about this. And I'll just get that out of the way so I can clear up some space too, right? Some of some champions. See how much time was left. One, two days almost. Okay. Okay, I definitely have to work on that too. It's a boss, right? Okay. Guys, I'm 130 voice shards into the pity. Towards the towards, towards the mercy, I mean. I hope I don't want to go to mercy, obviously, but. If I do, I guess it's kind of a good thing, because the odds of getting a legendary, a guarantee, or a 10x champion off of Void Shards, especially if it's a legendary, is is it's kind of high. It's kind of high. Maybe not like crazy high, because it's still like what 30% or something, 35% I think. I don't remember. Depending on how many Void Legendaries there are, but it's a good shot, right? And I missed my shot with Necrit a couple weeks ago or last week. I really, really want a Necker, guys. So badly. Alright, let's see. Accessories. Yeah, see guys? I have so many accessories here. And I got a new ring that I was leveling up. That's really, really, really solid. I think it was... There it is, guys. Right? Look at that. Really, really solid. If I can get a quad on that, that's going to be amazing for my Hefrag. Amazing. So I don't want to level up too much here because that's going to be costly. Actually, you know what? 35,000 per. And if I go with like a regular one... Hmm, not worth. What else is there available? Something new that I got. Let's see. Okay, I did get that. Ooh. No speed, HP percentage. I mean, I'm not. I don't have any champions there anyway, so I guess I'll hold off on that. What else is there? Great damage attack. Ogre tribe. Who do I have there? Nobody, right? Hmm. It's gotta make sense. Okay. I mean, this could work. Hmm. I don't have a Draco. Rosin. No defense. Let's see. What else is there? Let's go crit damage. What would I use? No attack. I do have a feign. Accuracy attack? Okay, this might be it. Ah, oh, never lucky. <laughs> yeah, but there you have it guys. That is the progression and... Oh, one more thing. So I finally used my, my, uh, my, my what is it called? Greyhawk points? I finally use it towards this guys like I was sitting on like about 4,000 or something like that 3,000 for whatever reason because I didn't really need to do this yet I guess but I finally pulled the trigger because I'm heading towards this mission here where I need three level 10s which is a lot guys so I need to start focusing on, on some more arena right yeah that'll be the next goal but that is my the state of my account at the moment and hope you guys have enjoyed the rest of your day if you guys are going to be summoning for the guaranteed or the extra free legendary summon tomorrow with the anxious shards then i wish you the best of luck hope you get something great i will uh i'll be pulling on my main account and i'll probably be posting another video for that so stay tuned if you guys enjoy my content please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you all in the next video